Hi, it's Chester at Blue PK and Computer Training and in this video I want to show you how to highlight or identify dates that are weekend dates or holiday dates, say bank holidays. Let's start with the weekend dates. I'm going to use a function called a weekday and what weekday does is return a number for each day of the week, say one for Monday, seven for Sunday. The first argument asks you for a serial number, which really asking you for the cell with the date in, and that's A2 in our scenario. And the second argument, return type, you can specify how you want to number the days of the week. By default, Sunday is one and Saturday is seven. We'll go for the second option, where Monday is one and Sunday is seven. And if I copy this down, you can see that this date is apparently a Friday. Let's see if that's true. If I select those dates, and do a little bit of formatting. I go in here and instead of DD I do 4D so you can see that that returns the day of the week and we have a Friday here on the first date. A weekend date would be a number greater than five. I'm going to write a little logical test in this cell which says is this number greater than five? Now you might wonder why I want to run that test. Well, when we apply conditional formatting based on a formula, which is what we're going to have to do here, then our formula must be a logical test. A logical test always resolves to true or false. If I copy this down, wherever I've got a true, I know that that date is a weekend date. So I can use this formula within conditional formatting. Let's see how that would work. So I'm going to copy the formula onto my clipboard and I'm going to select these dates. Control shift down arrow key, control backspace to go back to the active cell. I'm going to go to conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format and paste that formula directly into this box. Then I'm going to choose a format. Let's go for a gold background. Click on OK and you can see, if I look down my list, it's coloured the cells that are Saturday or Sunday. So we didn't actually need this formula in this cell here. I just did that to demonstrate how that formula resolved to true and false and how it worked. But essentially, I always try and write my formulas in my spreadsheet before I copy and paste the formula into conditional formatting just to see that it's working the way I would expect it to. Now this is quite good, it's formatting the dates, but what if I wanted to format the whole row rather than just the date column? What I'm gonna do is just clear the formats from those cells. Control home to get back to the top of my sheet. And I'm gonna select whole of the first row, control shift down arrow key, control backspace to get back to the top. And what I'm going to do is write a formula that will format the whole row rather than just an individual column. The thing to note is that when we write this formula, we're writing it for the active cell, which is the first one we selected. The active cell is pretty obvious visually because it doesn't have a dark background. So conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula, and paste the same formula in. The only thing I need to worry about is this A2 reference. When this formula gets copied across my spreadsheet, that A2 will currently change to B2, C2, D2, etc. But I always want to look in column A for the date. So I need to lock that column A, and I can do that just by typing a dollar in front of the A. Then I choose my gold background, click on OK. And then you can see that it formats the whole row rather than just the individual cell. Okay, what about holidays? I've got a separate sheet with my holidays on, all the holidays for 2021. And what I would do is name the range of cells that contains the holidays. This just makes it easier to reference on another sheet. And to do that, just select the cells, then go up to the name box up here and I'm going to call it bank holidays. That would be bank underscore holidays because you can't have a space in the name. Press enter, always press enter to store the name. And over here, 
back on my original sheet, I'm going to do a VLOOKUP. Now you could use XLOOKUP if you have more recent versions of Excel. I don't want to exclude those that don't, so I'll use VLOOKUP. Lookup value, well, I'm looking at this date, comma, table array. Well, that's our bank holidays table. I'm looking at this date in our bank holidays list. Then you just put a one there and then a zero there. Close the bracket, press enter. And what it does is return a number, which is really confusing. That number corresponds to that date. If I just show you that that's the case, it's the serial number behind that date. And what that basically means is that it found that date the 1st of January 2021. But if I copy this down, if it doesn't find a date, for example, this date, which is the 8th of the 1st, then it returns NA because it's not been found. There's a few dates there, the 2nd to the 4th, which is Good Friday this year. Wherever it's found that date, it returns it in that column. Remember, I need to get to a true and false scenario, a logical test, in order to use this formula for conditional formatting. What I can do is ask Excel whether my VLOOKUP returns a number. And I can do that with is number. So I put VLOOKUP within is number. I need a, another close bracket at the end. And that gives me a true and false. You see, I get my true down there for the Good Friday date. It's the same procedure really for using this in conditional formatting. I copy that formula. I'm gonna do it for the whole row. So I select the first row, control shift down arrow key, control backspace to go back to the top of the sheet or the active cell, conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, paste in the formula. And then I need to do the same thing here where I put a dollar in front of the A so that it always looks in column A when the formula is copied across these rows. Go to format here and let's say we'll have a different color background, say a blue color background for holidays. Click on OK. And if I look down this list, there we are. We've got our Good Friday date in blue and our New Year's Day date in blue. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found it useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.